Launched in 2014, data and cloud software firm Rubrik has seen rapid growth. It reached unicorn status last year with a billion dollar plus valuation thanks to interest from investors like Coastal Ventures and Greylock. Now it is picking up the momentum with the help of Microsoft chair John Thompson, who just joined the board and is advising the company. Thompson joins us now with Rubrik CEO and co-founder Bipul Sinha. And you, of course, invested in one of the earliest Correct. rounds, but Correct. that's impressive in four years. Um, Data backup and recovery, it's not the most obvious or sexy topic, but it, it, it fills a huge need for businesses. What makes your product stand out from the rest? The way we built Rubrik is to connect to public cloud and have a single software fabric that goes from on-premises to the cloud. And this unique architecture has propelled Rubrik around the world into the largest enterprises who wants to keep and manage their data. So John, you've seen so many technological shifts. What stood out to you as special here? Well, my sense is that every 15 years or so, there is an inflection point in every segment of our industry. And no innovation had really entered this particular segment for the last 15 or 20 years. And so my view was it was time. And so when I got introduced to Bipple, I thought, why not make an investment in him and the team that he has put together? Because it's time for a change in this sector. So why use this versus what Amazon or Microsoft Azure have to offer? We actually partner with both Amazon and Microsoft for the data management. Just because applications run in the cloud doesn't mean that the, the, the need for data protection, data management go away. So in fact, both Microsoft and Amazon have deeper partnership with Rubrik and we go to market together. So I'm, we hear this word partnership a lot when talking about enterprise companies and I'm just curious, John, from your perspective, who's going to own what? And you know, when is it? When does a partnership, you know, not make sense? It makes sense to own as much territory as possible. Well, well, let's let's be clear. The customer owns the data. Mm -hmm. Neither Microsoft nor Amazon nor Google or anyone else, particularly around the enterprise space, should feel like they own the data. The customer owns the data. I think as time goes on, however, it will become an issue of who has the strongest share in the enterprise. And clearly, Microsoft has a pretty strong position. AWS has done very, very well, primarily, I would say, with early stage companies looking for a cloud-based platform. For those enterprise customers who really want to move their data and apps to the cloud, they've chosen to opt for Microsoft as opposed to other alternatives. And I think that's a good thing for Microsoft and a good thing for those clients mm -hmm. as well. What does it mean for the up and comers like Rubrik? Well, one of the th great things about Rubrik is that it is what one would refer to as the hybrid model. It mm -hmm. acknowledges and recognizes that a certain amount of the data is going to remain on-prem for some period of time mm -hmm. and a certain amount of it is going to move to the cloud. So the customer gets to make a choice as to where they might want their data to reside. And that's a good thing for Rubrik and quite Quite frankly a good thing for the client. Where do you see the cloud industry going? I mean there's a, there is all this talk about hybrid but at a certain point again it's about ownership right? You know public cloud versus private cloud which cloud will be bigger in the future or, or will this hybrid model endure for the long term? So for rubric the way we think about our business we want to manage customer data, enterprise data, wherever they, it is, whether it's on-premises or cloud or both, it really doesn't matter to us. What we are seeing in the, in the marketplace is large enterprises are looking at public cloud and saying that, how do I gain operational agility by going into the public cloud? And if you look at Rubrik's growth, Rubrik's growth is kind of indexed on the growth of public cloud. I mean, we grew from zero employees four years ago to over 800 employees, $300 million annualized run rate. We just hired Murray Demo from Atlassian to be our CFO. John joined, joined me on the board to help us build a long-term 30-year company. We, our vision is that wherever companies want to run their application, whether it's on-premise or premises or cloud or both, we want to be the data management platform. You're making a huge commitment to your customers to protect their data, and this is in an age where data may be, I, I don't know, is it more unsafe than it's ever been before because <laughs> hack attacks are, I mean, we, there are so many bad actors out there. John, how would you sort of characterize the threat environment and the importance of, you know, protecting your data with a product like this? Well, there's no question that the landscape has changed quite substantially from when I joined Symantec back in 1999. There are more experienced hackers attacking us 
And quite frankly, there are more geopolitical attacks that are going on, which are hard to separate from someone who's in it for profit versus someone who's in it for intelligence, if you will. And so I think one of the things that Rubrik has done that is quite phenomenal is that they have integrated not just data management, but security management into the platform. So customers get the benefit of both when they go to the Rubrik platform, which is something I had envisioned a few years ago, for sure. When you look out at the threat landscape, and especially given your time at Symantec, what concerns you the most? I mean, what are the most dangerous threats that we're facing? The greatest now? vulnerability we have in the world is you and me, because we make mistakes when phishing campaigns come our way that look real. Mm -hmm. And invariably, that becomes one of the single most significant exposures for every organization, that one of their employees naively clicks on a link it creates an absolute disaster. Even I've done that. I'll admit that. <laughs> so, if, and if it comes down to individuals, even the most educated individuals make mistakes. That's exactly so, right. So, how can you ensure? I mean, if, if someone is paying for your service and something goes wrong, that's it's that's a big deal. How do you ensure that their data is protected? So, the way we think about the data management, data protection, is that we assume that something will get in and something will go wrong. Rubrik is the mitigation platform, the last line of defense. So if something goes wrong, we can make uh, get you up and running. We can bring the data back to you instantaneously. And that's the Rubrik's business. The recovery so if, process. Mm -hmm. The recovery much. process. So last question for you, John. I mean, do you see consolidation ultimately in, in this part of the industry? Well, I think right now there are probably seven or so large global cloud providers. I don't see any of them consolidating with each other, yeah. that's for sure. But that's easier said than done, but it may be hard to do given the size and scale of those companies. I don't envision, however, many of what I would call the tier two players ever really reaching tier one. And I'll let you define who's in tier two versus <laughs> who's in tier one. I have some ideas, all right. Um, John Thompson, chair of Microsoft now on the Rubik Board, Rubik CEO, Bipol Sinha, thank you both so much. Oh, my thank pleasure. Thank you for joining us.